It is 10.30 a.m. on a Sunday morning. I'm here at Teddy's. Got my girlfriend, the Juggalette, ready to see Twisted. She's my wife, actually, first of all. <laughs> I am gonna take you guys on a magical tour experience of Warp Tour. Let me be your Warp Tour tour guide. Right now, my shirt is on. It will be off soon. I look forward to showing you guys what Warp Tour is all about. Also, I'd like to mention, I have the subtle yet serious flex here going on. And the Yeezys with the rumors and rules shit. That's all. I'm out. Omar, no dogs at work tour. It's too hot on that pavement. Just gorgeous. Oh, hi, baby. They go look at all these people. They're all here for me. <laughs> His name's Omar. Yeah. yeah. Omar. Omar. No. He's still a puppy. He's not even a year yet. Really? So, oh, yeah. yeah. That's a puppy. Oh, year and a half, I guess. Remember when you were at his birthday party? Yeah, that's okay. right. You can lose track of going to a birthday where there was a cake, a hat, I photos. Know. Yeah. I. What? Get off me, motherfucker. Get off of me. Appreciate it. Fucking appreciate it, bro. Hey! Hey! These are Gosha. You better chill. Are they? No. My pants are. Oh, my pants are. Hey! Dude! Do it again. He's fast. I know. Oh man. Over it. It's going for you. Leave me alone. You hear me? Go outside. You got like five minutes. Go. Go outside. Come on, homie. Out. <laughs> Go on, dude! Wild. You are very excited for Warp Tour. It's just a shit show. It's, it's gonna be interesting. This is my first Warp Tour, because I don't do festivals. But we have access. So One time I went to a uh, Renaissance festival, and a guy <laughs> was dressed like a wall, and I couldn't stop laughing about it. Because he what? just had his arm, he had like a broomstick underneath his arms, behind his shoulders, and hanging. then it was like a curtain with bricks fucking, you know, and he was just like walking around like a wall, and I like, what? I was so high, and I just could not Why? stop fucking laughing. Because it's a Renaissance festival, and all these girls have, you know, their fucking tits are all like pushed yeah. Forward into things, and some girl, yeah, to some girl looked at him and she's like, Get, He's like talking to some girl, he's like, Bro, give it up, you're not getting laid, you're dressed like a fucking wall. It was in Boston, oh the fucking King Richard's Fair, or some shit. These goth vampire chicks, yeah, dude, I'm telling you, I'm in. People always say there's kids at everything, these are all not kids, these people are from anywhere one. from yeah. 16 to everyone's gone, yeah, because they, yeah, it is. I mean, 35, there's... 40, that guy's fucking 63. Good strategy. All right, great. John's texting me back. He'll be there in 15 minutes, which is enough time to park and get there. Excellent. Make sure you stay on schedule. Oh, I will. Concern is at it. My friend, we've arrived at Warp Tour. We're out here. Get ready to fucking rock. I don't know people to feed. So, I see some in Salt Lake City. Go to Mountain View. Just recently. Mommy. What's up, bro? How are you? See you, man. You too. It's my man, John. Have you guys met? Yeah, Dude, you have never ever again. I do this. I, mean, I told him. Good. I told him last week. He was like, he went to Ohio. Oh yeah, that's same right. Time, and then he's like, oh yeah. Rap shows. Rap shows. Back in the day, I miss those. Teddy's first work tour. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I've avoided it in most costs. <laughs> I've also I've never been inside a uh, what's that store in the mall? Hot Top. Uh, Hot Topic. <laughs> never. Step foot inside. I'm going to the bus anyway. How you doing? Alright. For me, Ernie. Dirty. I, I, dirty. What up, brother? Yeah, what up? Yeah, dude, Good to see you. This is my friend Teddy. Oh, yeah. What up, brother? Nice to meet you. And my wife Brandy. Brandy going back to her juggalo roots, it looks like. Yeah. What is this? Hey. Oh, this is backstage at Warp Tour. And I didn't even have to do anything sexual to get here, so. Yeah. Yet. No pooping in the bathroom on the bus. That's the rule. Those of you who don't know, that's the rule for almost all bands. Chelsea Grin. Teddy's friend Pablo from Chelsea Grin. He's got think us of, coming back here. Think of Bill Clinton's daughter smiling. Yeah, Chelsea Grin. Like, here's all these buses, so now we just gotta find numbers. First U turn. Yeah. It was the production section. Yeah, it's not even my fault, but I'm willing to take it just because. 
that's what I'm known for. Yeah, that girl's like, ah, this is the production area and like the smaller bands. Yeah. So I got a $600 hat on, what's up? Bar Hadid? Yeah, Bella Hadid's brother. Yep. Drake was in love with Bella Hadid. Drake's in love with me. I don't do anything on purpose. <laughs> Well, now we're doing a U-turn again. Finally, we're approaching. So the Instead of checking all the numbers, there were three I missed. Here it is. Y'all knock on the door. Yeah, hey, how's it going? What's good, baby? How are you? Oh. What's up, man? What's up? Hey. So we are headed to see Twisted, Brandy's childhood fantasy, 14 years old, where she was thrown out for being on too much Xanax. Brand. Xanax and rum and coke online, making out with girls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Can't put that on the vlog. She had three tongue rings. Okay. Smell like people burning some spice out here right now. Our warp tour. How do you feel? Last year, feel good, man. So I'm excited I got to come. This I've been to like time. four. This is my first one. Oh, nice. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. Holy shit. Nice, dude. Don't, don't brag or anything, man. Yeah. What's more upsetting, this closing or Toys R Us? Uh, this one. <laughs> the umbrella's a good move. That? It's great under here. I bet. Can I get under there? Last year of Warp Tour. What do you think? It's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Last year of Warp Tour. How do you feel? I feel great, man. Cheers to that. Hey. Hey. Yes. No, we got it. We're with a band. My bad. Okay, no, that's okay. No problem. I'm gone, man. Yeah, take it easy, bro. This is it, man. What's more upsetting, this or the closing of Toys R Us, honestly? The closing of Toys R Us. Nice. I like it. Last. First and last. My, my warped version. Nice. I've been going since like. Oh man, fucking. Who's your dog? Would you. Does your dog need any water? Um, We just got water. Okay, sweet. Thank you though. Yeah. Doing pretty good. She's nice. actually having fun. Big Red. You know those guys? Yeah, yeah. They gave me this beer. Now, yeah, now, now it's gone. <laughs> so, it's so cool. Thanks. Thank you guys. You thought it would always be around, and now yeah, it's just that. Yeah, so that's why, like, I procrastinate. That's what happens in relationships too. <laughs> you think it's gonna be around forever, and then it's over with. Now we know it. We can get right through that fence, yeah. and then out. I don't know how to get out of here still. Maybe. Oh God, it's here. It's over. Yeah. You guys still lost. Trying to get out. Go ahead and sight. Although I think we're a little closer to the car coming out here now. Day, so how was your first work tour? Hey, make sure you stay on the over and out warp tour. Thanks to Chelsea's grin for yeah. the invite. We made, we made Brandy's childhood dream a reality today. Yep. Childhood dream fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Come on, be honest. Don't be shy. You love yeah. Twisted. Yeah, but it was weird because now they're like 40. And like they were fucking 30 I grew something. Out of it 20 years ago, you know? Mm, damn, you heard that, Twisted. <laughs> Trying to change up. Well, you finally got to see him, though. The dream came a little too late. Yeah. Careful what you wish for. Never know when it'll arrive. Yeah, I'm a farmer, two 50 year old men jumping around with their faces painted. <laughs> I thought you were gonna leave me for the one guy, Bran. I started getting nervous. Well, the guy was gonna, yeah, the guy in red, he was just gonna. I saw yeah. that, I saw her checking him out. Yeah, Looking at his calf muscles. Like, my man ain't got calves like that. Yeah. My man's got weak calves. <laughs> Can't have no weak calves. How you gonna hold me up, boo? You ain't got no calves. Uh, so, Warp Tour was yesterday. So we left Warp Tour, it was hot. You guys saw, like, kind of miserable with the heat and the noise. It's not really my scene to be out in the mix like that. I went back last night and hung out with Pablo and the band. We had, like, a little after party. Uh, I went and had dinner, shit like that. So, that was cool. Uh, waking up a little slow today. I really just have to clean my kitchen and my whole. I need to clean today, really. What else has happened? I got a bunch of. Well, I know I got a 
pair. I got a bunch of pairs, but I'm not keeping them all. So I got a pair for me, a pair for Earn, a pair for Scruff, a pair for somebody else. I like there's a few pairs, like four or five pairs. I don't even know. And uh, my kith drop is all getting shipped to the wrong address. I got seven fucking orders all going to the wrong place. And then I've been like kind of sick the last couple of weeks or whatever, like allergies, sinuses, whatever you want to call it. And some people brought up the fact that this basement had leaked and that there was like water and there maybe there was like black mold. So I kind of got freaked out like maybe I was fucking myself up. So I went and bought this A little Koe. Clean better and live smarter. Why it's smarter. Yeah, so this is like a big a filter. Is that a weed leaf? But this thing indicates this is my thought process. I don't think there's mold. They like hooked that up pretty quickly. You know, they came in, ripped everything out, and did all that jazz. So I think it's all good. But filter actually helped. Like I slept so good last night. I woke up this morning, and nothing hurts. There's not no swelling, like, anything. So I think it's just allergy. We'll see. Um We're here, we're gonna go meet Zach from Robots. Get some edibles, finally. I had something important to say. An announcement of sorts. Oh yeah, a customer service announcement. As you all know, we are moving forward. It's gonna be an all new, all new everything. All new shipping, all new shirt printing company, all new everything. We're making a ton of changes to make it better for everybody. That being said, when you do have customer service issues, the easiest way is to email us at, oh it's Ted, God damn it. Oh, it's teddy.sales at gmail.com and you'll be answered immediately. And you'll be answered by me or Brandy. It's just the two of us and we make sure everyone's taken care of. It's better than DMing me or Teddy because things get lost in there. Not that we don't want to respond. I'm the one that responds anyway. Emails are easier. We get to it faster. We fix the problem. The problem is always fixed. There has not been a problem in the history of ohitsteddy.com that we haven't fixed. So you will be taken care of. That's all I got to say. Sounds like you got a warning at the office. This fucking shit. Do you want me to do it? No, 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 no. I got no, it. I do this all day, dude. But it doesn't mean it's gonna come out shit. Oh yeah, I'd like to address the fact that you, on your live stream yesterday, smoked the last joint that I rolled and it had like a little tumor in it. But let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and say, and you tried to like co-sign the shit. I, hold you up, know, hold, hold I, up, hold up, hold up. I rolled four fucking joints in a row in the amount of time that it's taking you to do that. And the fucking thing still burned perfectly. So you're mad about a fucking speed I bump wasn't of, mad. Oh, but y'all are gonna throw shade about a speed no. bump of weed? Somebody a, threw shade yeah, and yeah, I, I think, just you laughed. Agree, you know, you agree with <laughs> You were like, yeah, Teddy rolled this. I don't know what he's. I saw it. You want to bring it up? You want to no, bring it up? He's, no, I'm not denying it, but yeah. I didn't complain about it. I was smoking it. Did some it kid said, nah, oh, it, okay. cool. it burned fine. I didn't listen, but I just, mm -hmm. it was funny because he came on and he said, wait, Teddy rolled that and he makes fun of your joints. And I just yeah, said, yeah, I can roll an ugly joint and it still burned perfectly. You can't roll the most beautiful joint in the world and it won't light. There's a fucking huge difference there. <laughs> I know. I just thought it was great. Yeah, you guys are fucking <laughs> Always trying to catch me slipping in some way. Hey man, that's what happens when you get great. What? When you're great, everybody wants to try and catch you slipping. Nobody's trying to catch shitty people slipping because they're always slipping. You don't have to catch them. All right. The reason that I care is because the 500 that we've gained are 500 that have joined after we're not fucking with shoes. Of course, every I, I know you know this is happening, but it excites me when I'm like, people fucking- You just fucking... have to learn how to like, take the fucking numbers out of yeah. it. Like you, it's ego, bro. Like if you sit there and you look at <coughs> 200,000 views, like, oh my God, like bro, like the quality of the eyeballs on, that are taking in what it is, and the people who actually understand what they're looking at are what matters. When people are just coming to look at fucking just a shoe, like those people are scrolling through anyway. Yeah, exactly. Those people aren't I invested know. in any way. Like, I, that's a gift for them. It's like, oh, this dude. I get it. Numbers are the most pointless thing in the world. Numbers and time are like, was, like they should have never even done it. So like, imagine if you did that in real life. If you're like, I have a really good story to tell, but I'm only going to tell it when there's enough people here. It's yeah. like, that's not the way the world works. You tell your story and the people will find it. You know, anything else is silly. If you're doing it just for attention or views or whatever, I almost yeah. wish there wasn't a view counter on any of it, on anything. But that's the thing. People will tell me too, like in the comments all the time. Man, you should really fucking like start reviewing different stuff. Your channel would grow so much more. I'm like, no, define growth. I'm like growth is not just a bunch of people showing up. But yeah, but you know what else is growth? Cancer. Cancer is a growth. Yeah. So that doesn't, I don't want fucking a bunch of fuck faces who are not turned on to. Yeah. 
you know, the lifestyle that I live. It's not even about growing. It's just about... It's just about, like, not playing to a fucking audience. And also not being nerd. Like, I think people have irrational fears. Not being interested in them anymore for whatever reason. People gravitate to you for a reason. It's usually because they appreciate the way your mind works. There's really, like, no f nothing to fear there. It's anyone that, like, kind of falls off or whatever or stops following, like, that's their prerogative. Yeah. It doesn't affect you. It's yeah. kind of like, you know, whatever. Yeah. We're just, like, trapped in this world where people think the word. I hate the word follower. It's so silly. Like, I'm not a follower. You know what I'm saying? I hate that I have to, like, follow somebody. Like, that's it's just a weird phrase. I think it does psychological damage at some level. This girl I know from back home, it's so funny, dude. She doesn't follow anybody. Because I follow no one. Yeah. Get it's it, a but... weird psychological undertone that people do not fucking recognize. <coughs> like, why yeah. does it have to? Why can't it just be connect? Yeah. 98 degrees. In the front yard. Um, I'll just do ice. You have unsweetened iced tea, right? Yeah, I'll just do Can I just have like a Coors Light? Well, you can't because we don't have Coors Light. Bud Light, whatever you got, I'll take it. Um, it's on, on the other side oh, of your wall. Thank you. Just hold the fries and then just charge me for the salad too. Okay. Is that cool? Alright. And then I'll just have the burger with bacon the, and fries. So you, did you say hold the fries or keep the fries? No, like you, you keep the fries. I don't want them. <laughs> yeah. Brutally hot. Oh, good thing you wore a hoodie. Home from the lunch meeting. We got the 4th of July's. Very festive. Shout out the robots. Always keeping it. Like peeing like a lot of Outside or inside? I'm gonna close this. It's 100 fucking degrees outside. In? Or out? I'm gonna set up so I have to finish this painting. I'm gonna start doing that today. And a bunch of fucking emails. So we're gonna start doing that. First box of this. So, the red shorts, these are pretty light. I didn't know what sizes to get in anything, cause usually some kith Adidas stuff runs small, some kith stuff runs small, aren't too big, everything. Cause I got everything in 2X, which I can wear an XL right now easily in most stuff, but you just never know. Impossible to figure out. I think they're nice. Some people are complaining about the quality and I don't know what, I mean, I haven't like run them through any kind of testing obviously, but. There's nice zippers on everything. Everything's got drawstrings. I don't really see anything where I'm like, well, this is cheap as shit. I mean, there's embroidery. So I don't don't agree on that one so far. Let's see though. I see. Track top. Oh, no. This isn't the track top. This is like the full, oh my God. So this happened and I didn't mean for it to happen. <laughs> Gave me the track bottoms. And I'm sure I paid for this. I know I paid for it. But they gave me the full jumpsuit <laughs> instead of the top. Full jumpsuit, son. I don't know what the fuck I would do with this. <laughs> uh, all right. So I got the fuss. So funny. I was talking. I didn't realize that even existed. And on Twitch the other night, people were t talking about it. What are y'all talking about? And uh, this is it. This gold foil is funny on the back. It's going to get so fucked. Oh, shit. That's really funny. Okay. Okay. And then the polo. Oh, nice. This isn't even like a polo. This is just like a windbreaker. This is sick. I like this thing. It's super light. Damn. Uh, I mean, I could probably wear an extra large, but I'm not like swimming in it or anything. So, it's not terrible. Could be smaller. I don't mind baggy clothes either. So, um, yeah. 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 All right, so that's the first of the kith. Man, we got this full jumpsuit. So I just got that box. They gave me the overall, the whole like one piece suit instead of the track top. Oh wow. <laughs> it's so amazing. It's like a full on fucking like one piece fucking jumpsuit, dude. It's amazing. I'm not mad because obviously, you know, I can do whatever. Like, I don't even know, like, where do you wear this? You just go to the club in a one piece suit and chicks are like, oh, that's normal. <laughs> You like show up, you're like, sir, no athletic wear. You're like, this is a onesie. This is a fucking overall onesie. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This shit is ill. So, yeah, I just had to call and tell you because I think it's amazing.
the 500. Yeah, I sent out texts for that, and then those those butters are just going to get mailed directly to you from the guy who got them. Well, I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So they'll probably get. What are you doing? Omar. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Get up. Get up. <laughs> You're so crazy. So the day started to get away from me a little bit. Um, mystery bags. We went down to the post office, checked on the post office, Ern went in there and just probably got mean. Uh, everything is shipped. Everything has been shipped. If you haven't received tracking or an update, it's just an email lag, it's gone. Even when you check your tracking and it says pre-shipment label created, it's gone. They're dropping packages off on a Friday. They're not exactly motivated to check in thousands of packages. So they sit there or they don't get scanned. I don't really know how this shit works, but I do know that I've gotten multiple tweets today of people receiving their packages and they never got a tracking or they never got a tracking update. So it should be there. You can also check your order number on the website, but it should be on the way. If there's any issues, use the email. Oh, it's teddy.sales at gmail.com. As far as the kith clothing goes, fit goes, I don't really know. I know I'm gonna get asked this a time. I feel like the pants are a little baggy, but they're not baggy, they're 2X. So I usually wear an XL or a 2X. I don't know if they fit super baggy because they're 2X and I've lost a little bit of weight or if they're just a little bit more relaxed. I can't really tell. I'm usually like fine both, but they do feel just a little bit baggy to me, which kind of sucks because I have a ton more coming. So hopefully not all of it is a little too big or else I'm gonna be doing like the most serious stock X clothing exchange in the world. But uh, I don't know, like the top I really like is a 2X. I think probably tops 2X, pants XL, usually probably what I should have done but I didn't so we'll see I don't know I have no idea but it fits all over the place right now as usual um <clears throat> haven't gotten a single bit of painting done yet today it's already almost four o'clock so that got away from me I was on the phone business meetings lunch meetings emailing sending samples out like just fucking business I don't think there's anything else to tell you guys about oh the membership uh is up we did launch the membership. Oh, it's teddyfnf.com. Uh, it's basically a friends and family membership fee. It's $20 a month. It gets you access to the drops first. It gets you access to exclusive merchandise, all kinds of exclusive shit that you can't get if you're not friends and family, basically. And then also you get priority shipping. So anything that's friends and family, if you're in that group, your stuff gets shipped first because we have the order first. There is a cutoff. I can't keep it open because if I keep it open, then I won't be able to order what I need to order in order to fulfill everything so you have until the 15th to sign up um, this month it may even go shorter it may only stay for a week the next month and then it may only stay open for a few days the following month because the outreach has been crazy a lot of you have signed up so i just want to make sure that we can take care of everybody not let it get too big oh it's teddyfnf.com for that no drop coming everything is shipped i'm moving my hands a lot when we're sleeping down here and i think that's it i'm gonna try and get this edited because i got stuff to do tonight i'm gonna get it out on the airwaves I'm done but yeah that's the day I'm out. I love you guys. We'll be back tomorrow. Oh, and Wednesday I'm taking it off. Fourth of July. I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna eat a ton of weed and I'm gonna chill the fuck out. Prepare now. No vlog on Wednesday, but we'll be here tomorrow. All right. Peace.